Okay, question I want to cover in this video is who is the borrower on the loan? These are investment properties, and a lot of people say, I want to come in and finance this property in the name of my LLC or my business or my trust or my entity. And while though it makes sense to take ownership in this property, fourplexes specifically, you want to finance in your own name because that allows you to secure the best kind of financing, which is a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac fourplex loan. Um, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac do not lend to entities. It, it, it's convoluted with what they see as their, their foreclosure process. And uh, it makes it very difficult to lend to, to entities for these types of financing. And so what the protocol is and what we do with investors is you actually come in and you finance these loans in your personal name. You are on the note and the deed for the construction loan and for the long-term loan, which allows you to qualify for the better financing as opposed to a commercial loan. And then when the property is done, you can then deed the property to an LLC or a trust after the property is completed and you have also completed the long-term refinance. A second part of that question is, hey, Lane, does the, do the loan programs and the paperwork allow you to do that? And it took me a lot of years to be comfortable saying this because I had to do a lot of research. Because the, the closing documents for a, a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac loan, it's kind of a gray area on who takes title. Some pe You'll hear a lot of people say, hey, well, the lender can call the note due. Um, I, I've overseen, at this point, almost half a billion dollars in fourplex loans. I've connected with some of the best title companies in the country and done a lot of research. I have never seen a lender or Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac come back and say, hey, you deeded this to an LLC. We are now going to call the note due. Um, so from my experience and in my understanding of the industry, that's, that's a myth. Now, if you deeded it to a, an entity or a trust that you had no ownership in at all, and there's a separation now between the individual who's liable for the mortgage and at a different entity, that can become problematic because you don't have any ownership and, and there's now one step removed from the person who's liable for, to make the mortgage payment and who owns it. So you need to make sure that you have uh, a percentage of ownership in, in the trust or the entity from which you want to deed your property. And then if you ever want to refinance later, if you want to do a cash out refinance or if rates drop and you want to do a rate term refinance, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac would require you to deed the property back to your name temporarily for that refinance transaction. Um, and then you can deed it back essentially after that. I, I've done this multiple times. I almost want to say hundreds of times with investors who have purchased with FIG and also on my own transactions as well for the investment properties that I own. So it's a, it's a process I'm very familiar with. And we've got great title partners that can also help facilitate that if it's something that you want to complete.